And to those brothers of you who are already practicing, some of you, you need to really stop when you walk with that arrogant walk. Well, like, it makes me cringe that a brother's in a thobe, he's got a beard, he's practicing, he's coming to the masjid, and he's bopping. Like, you're not jahil anymore, you left jahil, you stop bopping. As ah, she's cringy, fam. The other day I was, well, like, I know, I've been noticing it in the masjid a lot. The other day I was sitting in the masjid, and I was sitting right in front of the door, and just brothers kept coming in, one bow, and they bop it out. Ah, you didn't just walk into a shubs, fam. You walked into the house of Allah. Allah said, don't walk like that on earth. The Prophet said, Hadith Sahih Bukhari, that if a man walks and he's amazed with himself and he, and he, and he, and he thinks he's, he's amazed with the way he walks, he's walking in that way. Allah swallowed the ground. This happened. The Prophet said, it happened to a man. Allah swallowed him. The ground swallowed him, sorry. Allah caused the earth to swallow him. Until today, he's still falling. He's still falling deep until the day of judgment. Don't walk like that. Walk humble. I told you, even the way you walk, walk head down, quick, fast, sharp, don't look around, don't look at people. You walk into a mischief, man. You've got child above your ankle, you've got beard and you're bopping. Oh, nice, stop it. It's this very, very, very disgusting. You're, 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 you're doing all the slave stuff, verbally, but your actions, you're walking into the house of Allah. Allah, I just walked into your house, but I'm the man. Don't do that. Subhanak Allah, wa bihamdik, shadwa la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Hey guys, I really hope that you benefited from that video. Before you go, I want to ask you a really important question. Have you guys ever thought about studying Islam and seeking knowledge? If not, then I want you to reflect upon this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet said that seeking knowledge is obligatory upon every single Muslim. Of course, that doesn't mean you have to be a scholar, but you have to know the basics in order for you to be the best possible slave and worshipper of Allah that you can possibly be. So, we decided to provide a solution for this. You see, many people want to study, but they don't have the means or the resources to do so. So we set up an online institute called the Knowledge College, where you can study Islam from the comfort of your own home. So if you want more information on the Knowledge College and you'd like to sign up, go to the link below, check out the website, and hopefully we'll see you on the other side. Assalamu